Hey gang, welcome to your 22nd Django tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can take our user and log them in to the application. Okay then, so now we have our two forms. We have a sign up form and also a login form. Now in both cases, we're handling the post request when we click on sign up or login, but all we're doing is redirecting the user at that point. We're saving the user up here to the database. So yeah, we are creating that user, but then we're not logging them in. We're just redirecting them. And down here, when we use the login form, we're checking if the form is valid and if the username and password is correct right here. And if it is, we're just redirecting them to the article listing page again. We're not logging the user in. So in both cases, we'd like to log the user in. So how are we going to do that? Well, fortunately in Django, it is seriously simple to do. The first thing we need to do is import the login function into this file. So we'll do that at the top and we'll say from Django.contrib.auth import login. Now, by the way, when I was creating these view functions right here, I didn't call them just sign up and login because we're going to use a function called login. And if this was just called login, for example, and we try to use this, then Django is going to get confused as to what's what. So it's important when you name your view functions to call them something like login view instead. So we'll be using this login function to log in a user. Now let's handle the login view first of all. So this form, when a user clicks on login, how are we going to log this user in? Well, first of all, we need to get what the user is, who's trying to log in. So let's create a variable called user and set that equal to something, the user. Now, when we're using this authentication form like this, we can get the user from the form that we're storing it in by saying form and then dot get underscore user. That's built into Django. When we're using this form, because it's handling authentication and a user, storing that form in this variable. Therefore, on this variable, we can access the user by saying form.getUser. That is going to retrieve the user that is trying to log in for us. Okay. Now we've got that user, we can try to log them in. We can say login, which is the function we just required up here. And this is a function and we need to pass through a couple of parameters. The first one is the request object. Then the second one is the user we're trying to log in. And that's how simple this is. So we retrieve the user first of all by saying form.getUser and then we're logging that user in using login request user. And that is if the form is valid, if this is all okay when we pass the data in. Okay, cool. So that's how simple it is to log a user in. So let's test this out. We'll save it and go to a browser. Now what I'm going to do first of all is go to the admin section and make sure that I'm logged out of the application. So now I'm logged out. Now if I go to accounts and then login and it's double C, so accounts and then login, then hopefully this should now log me in. So login and if I go to admin again, I should be logged in and I shouldn't see the login screen. Admin, yep, I'm logged in again. So this has worked. This right here, has logged me in. It's grabbed me from the form and it's logged me into the application, which is cool. Dead simple to do. So now let's handle the sign up view. So again, we need to log a user in right here, but this time we don't need to say user equals form dot get user. When we use this method right here, form dot save, this actually returns the user to us and we can store that in a variable if we want to. So I could say user is equal to form.save and this only happens if the form is valid, remember. So if the form is valid, we're saving the form and returning the user of that form to this variable. Okay, so now we have that variable of the user. We can use this thing again right here to try and log them in the same way. So we'll say login, then request and then the user again. And hopefully this should work as well. So if I go back accounts and then we'll go to sign up instead, if I go here, we'll create a new account. We'll call this one peach. Don't think that one's there yet. Test one, two, three, four, test one, two, three, four, 
sign up now I'm logged in as peach and okay you might not be able to tell that I'm logged in as peach now because there's nothing on the web page saying that I'm logged in but if I try to go to the admin section then it says right here you are authenticated as peach but I'm not authorized to access this page so right now I can tell that I'm logged in as peach okay so there we go that's how simple it is to log a user in to your application in Django